and if you've got an emotional attachment to it as well, where I used to eat a lot of crisps, a lot of crisps, purely because of the fact that when I was around my nans, when my dad was alive, and he would come home on a Friday or Saturday night when we did go there for my nans, we ended up, match of the day would come on, my nan would get the massive bag of Walker's crisps at like half ten at night, and me and my dad would eat a six pack altogether. We didn't get a six pack, we'd eat a six pack. <laughs> And uh, he would end up getting the plain ones. I would have the salt and vinegar and cheese and onion. So I would have four, he'd have two, which is obviously where that started. But it, it turned out in my early 20s, before I went on this weight loss journey, is that I started eating a lot more crisps. So I would get the big bag because it was comforting. It would remind me of being there with my dad on a Saturday night eating these crisps. And a lot of times with that, you can, your trigger foods will have some emotional attachment with it. 